Hey there, this is K4A, Knowledge for All, and in this video today we are going to try to learn how and when you can use Game Maker Studio drag and drop block, which is called Get Position Along Path. In previous two videos we have learned how to start following path, then how to stop it, and that path, as everything here in Game Maker or every other game engine, is defined by some kind of numbers, some kind of um, position in space, in this case 2D space. So as we have seen here when I click on my workspace, uh, let me find yeah path enemy and open it. I can see that those are all numbers. That's how computers works, even uh, graphics, even artwork, they see it all as numbers and then represented those numbers in colors, movement, um, effects, whatever you need or want. So those numbers sometimes um, um, must be very precise or are important of um, because of some game mechanics or game um, feature. Like for example, if you are making uh, a race game uh, so you want, uh, maybe it will, a uh, split of second uh, uh, will decide which player won, how in uh, that second uh, where was player number one, on which position, meaning which numbers, these numbers coordinates, X and Y, and player two, like they are maybe uh, running or uh, in some vehicles driving, so you want to compare two positions to see who is the first and who is the second or even for uh, tower defense games which we have talked about in previous video sometimes you want to know uh, the exact po exact position of your uh, zombie on the screen because um, you defined it in game that when he is um, at some position he can move faster or, or slower he can be bigger or uh, smaller or whatever. Again, uh, that is all what you define by game design or what you need by um, decision of your game designer, client and so on, but uh, position which is represented by numbers sometimes can be important. In this video we are just going to show that position uh, on the screen and uh, see what um, block is used for that. So in our case our zombie is moving along the path and uh, so far we had some kind of problem when I want to stop him he works but when I restart his uh, movement he goes uh, he creates this uh, path again from the scratch and goes uh, in different route I don't want to do that I will try to fix that later so uh, the whole idea here is just I want to somehow represent where on the path this zombie is um, so this path as we have just seen it has very precise coordinates so zombie must also have precise coordinates when he follows that path so let's see how to show that because I want my zombie to show that and I want the position of zombie I will code in my zombie obj obj zombie path uh, not path I will just follow path maybe rename it obj zombie just zombie uh, not to confuse so this guy here is obj zombie and he follows the path which is path enemy okay so I want to know where this guy is on the screen and I want him to tell me that by drawing on the screen. So to draw anything in Game Maker you need draw event. So click on events, add event, find the draw, click it. It will be empty from the start. We need to add some blocks. The first block which we want to add is draw self because when you add this draw event and some kind of uh, code in it, uh, he somehow overwrites the image on the screen, so you have to add draw self, we have learned that before, and I also want to draw 
some kind of value. Uh, some kind of value which is position. So I will change this caption into POS, short for position. So uh, let me start and see if that will draw on the screen. Uh, it does actually, but it's in my top left view. I don't want to do that. I want that uh, text to be relative to my zombie. So check on these two boxes relative. Now, uh, yeah, it says position. Okay, but I want to draw that below this guy. So let me type 40. I uh, know 44x by 44 uh, y, but maybe it will be. I think he's 32 times 32, yeah, or 64. Let me check. Yeah, 64. Probably he is 64 pixels in x and y in terms of length and width. So I need to go a little bit more than 60. So I will go 70. So I will have my text drawn below this guy so this is cool this is what i want if you want it above your guy you just type minus oops minus y so now it will be above his head okay this is too much yeah 70 for some reason it's, it's probably his uh, pivot point is in top left center yeah Okay, 40. Let's try with 40. Um, so we'll have this text drawn above him. Okay, great. So let's finally find that block. We need to find block which is called get position along path. And that is one of the path blocks. So it's below rooms, right? And here it is get position along the path get the position of the instance along the path it is following. That is the fourth from the left. Click and drag it and I will drag it above. I will drag it in my draw event for start. Uh, why? Because it's just a test, it's just an example, simple one. And the whole idea here is just to draw where on the path line my zombie is. Uh, this block gives me some kind of option to put this value in variable. I will call this variable uh, something meaningf meaningful, maybe uh, a variable uh, path underscore uh, zombie path position uh, zombie, maybe. So this will be the name of my variable. Variables are containers. They just hold the value and then you have to do something with that value. What do I want to do? I want that value to show on the screen. So I will use here, here this variable name to copy paste it or you can type it here no matter and paste it into this field value. So what am I doing here one more time? I'm getting the position along path. So I'm telling Game Maker, okay, give me the position of the zombie where it is on my path. So be, be aware, it's on the path, on the line, not on the screen in terms of X and Y of the whole screen. I think it will just give me how much on the path he has gone through. So it will be some kind of number, but number showing on the path his distance, not x and y. So it will be one number, I think, not two coordinates. Then draw that zombie image, draw self, and then draw the value. Which value? The value of that variable. So I'm getting, I'm asking, get is like, uh, give me, It's uh, remember it that way, g, g, get, g, give me, give me the position and put that position in variable path position zombie that's how i call it then do what use that value and draw it with draw value on the screen and draw it above my zombie head so now when i click on play this zombie will have that value the value of his 
position along the path drawn above his head and that value will change why it will change because this guy oops this guy edit undo edit undo again yeah you can see how you can by just by clicking make mistakes and problems so be be careful uh, this guy here when he moves he changes his position so that's why the number will change it's like giving me uh, my like wh while you're driving a car and the drive uh, and the car mileage shows different number it goes up and up and so on so let me test that and see if it works yeah it's a little bit fast because we have very very uh speed is uh speed is four so i will make speed three so it will be a little bit slower so you can see it clearly the position about zombie head you can see how it grows 0 0.3 0 0.4 so we have some kind of information here which is uh it goes from 0 to 1, yeah, that is also important, 0 is the start, 1 is the end. Uh, so far uh, we are not using that information, but again it depends on your game and your ideas. The whole idea here is that it is very precise. I have stopped it here now, 0 0.77, that can be some, I don't know, space in your game where the player uh, or zombie touches some kind of i don't know fire or ice so if it touches fire destroys him if it touches ice become slower and so on and so on um that was uh 11 minutes long yeah i will try to fix another uh the problem which we had in previous video in next video but so far so good we have now um position along path we have learned how to uh, extract that information that's it for this video see you in next one bye for now